In this video, I want to explain uh, how to get computer craft working in Minecraft. So this is something that was confusing me for quite a while, and part of it is just not understanding how mods work in Minecraft. And uh, it can be a little complicated if you're trying to do it manually. So uh, computer craft requires a version of Minecraft currently 1.5.1 to run. Um, and uh, unfortunately, Minecraft right now is already on version 1.5.2. So here's here's my version of just vanilla Minecraft. And uh, this is not compatible right now with computer craft. So what do you do? The easiest way to deal with this is to run uh, another program which is going to kind of substitute for our normal Minecraft launcher, and it's called MultiMC. So you can follow the download instructions here. I'm on a Mac right now. And I'm going to show kind of where the normal files go on a Mac. Um, but if you uh, if you want to know a little bit about more about how mods work, if you open up the Finder, and you want to say hold the Option key down and say Open Library, this opens a kind of a hidden directory called Library inside of your home directory on the Macintosh. You go into Application Support, and you should see a folder in here called Minecraft, and this is just where the generic Minecraft files go when you when you install Minecraft uh, by default. And you'll see there's a folder in there for your texture packs. It's like I have a I using a Ovos Rustic text, texture pack now. And in the bin directory, you'll see a folder called Minecraft.jar, which is actually uh, like a zip formatted file. I've I've modified mine a little bit here. But this is where you would normally go if you wanted to install a mod and you'd be copying a bunch of class files into these different directories and uh, it gets pretty confusing. So, but we're not gonna do that now. We're gonna use this thing called MultiMC. Now MultiMC is a new kind of a launcher and it gives you lots of different flavors of Minecraft and it puts them all in different places uh, in your file system. So you can just download it and copy the app to your application directory and uh, when you run it you'll get a window like this one except it's empty. So um, let's go ahead and I'll show you how to install uh, install it just create a new instance that we're going to add uh, for uh, computer craft to run that. So we know it's based on version 1.1 so I'll call this C, C demo and we're going to change the version number to 1.5.1. Okay, and we'll say okay. So now we have a new instance here. And I can just go ahead and run that now. I've, I've pre-populated my username and password. That goes to Mojang to log me into Minecraft. But you see it's downloading a fresh version of the Minecraft jar file with all with just all the stuff needed for 1.5.1 in it. And uh, then we launch, and there we go. This is just a very vanilla Minecraft. There are no texture packs or anything like that. And this instance is totally separate from my vanilla Minecraft that I've run, uh, you know, that I kind of downloaded. So I can play around with this version without messing up my, my main mo version of Minecraft. So let's go now. Well, I'm going to right-click on that and click Edit Mods. Now, Computercraft depends on this thing called MC Forge, which is a set of APIs that allow plugins or mods to uh, safely uh, modify the Minecraft program without stepping on each other, so you can install multiple mods. And you don't really have to understand too much about it, but just hit that button and it'll, it'll download the latest version of uh, Minecraft Forge. We'll choose, the, we'll choose the latest version that works on 151. It'll download all the file all the files that you need for this. There we go. So now that's installed in this version. And then in our mods folder, uh, if you um, if you previously had downloaded this universal client, it's going to give you a zip file. And the zip file this this is the easy part. So the zip file is really just all you need here. So in the if, once you select the mods folder in MultiMC. Go to your download folder and pick that zip file, and we're just going to install it, and then we are done. So now we can double-click this file and try launching this version of Minecraft, and you'll see now this uh, FML 
is downloading a bunch of files to to set up. Uh, this is the the mod loader, the Forge mod loader, um, in order to set it up so that your mod can run properly in Minecraft. Downloads a bunch of stuff, but this is a lot easier than doing it manually. And this, I believe this will only happen the first time we run it. So uh, this lengthy very first load shouldn't be too bad. Oh my gosh, I got an error. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure why that happened. This again, Minecraft Forge, Mods, Computer Craft, that all looks right. Launch it again. Now we launch. I'm not exactly sure what was happening there. So, well, we seem to be doing okay. And if we, we have a, now a Mods folder and it says Computer Craft is loaded. Um, and we can create, just to test it out, why don't we create a new world, which is in creative mode. So I don't have to craft my own computer, but I can just select it. Okay, here we go. And let's uh, go find a empty location. Um, you'll notice here that there is a there's an extra page for just the computer craft stuff. There's all kinds of extra things. I don't know that much about it yet because I just haven't uh, tried playing with it, but we'll, we'll put a basic computer into our inventory and uh, then we just pop it down in the world and then you can type help. And there we go. I see programs. What programs are here? Okay. Let's uh, run the hello program. It says hello world. So we are uh, ready to go, but I will quit this out and uh, just to show for completeness, that's all you have to do to get computer craft working. Um, but one more thing, if you're just interested in kind of the behind the scenes uh, a little bit, you can go here and they have a handy button to view the folder. So I can go here and see that I'm really in a different, you know, this is all these, this mod actually got copied. Here's my computer craft mod zip file in the mods folder in the Minecraft. And you see there's a different folder for every version of uh, every what they call instance of Minecraft that I'm running now. And these instances are in the, res the contents resource portion, I think, of the multi MC app file itself. So when I copied that app file into my applications folder, uh, it's putting all of these files kind of internal into this program but it's a totally separate location than the standard library location where all the other Minecraft folders go. So that's how it works, and hopefully you'll be able to get uh, computer craft running and uh, enjoy playing with uh, mods on Minecraft.